Thanks for joining us as we go through this series on factorization. So this video is all about factorizing by grouping. And when do we use or when can we use grouping? Well, we use it when there are four or more terms or when we want to factorize trinomials. So you can watch our video on factorizing trinomials when A does not equal one. And then of course, when there's no obvious rule to follow. So here's our first example. And what we do is we look for the same in both sets. So I'm going to put these two together and I'm going to group those two together. So here, what's common is the A. So I'm going to take out an A. And what I'm left with is a C plus a D. Okay, so it's just like taking out a highest common factor, but only out of part of the set of terms. Right, on this side, I'm going to take out a B because it is common to both. Right, and so we've got C plus D. And what you can see is that the brackets are actually the same. So we can take out the bracket as a common factor. And in the next bracket, we write down what's left over. There we go. So that's how you would factorize by grouping. Let's do another example. So in this example, we're going to look for something common. So I wouldn't do this one here. I would actually group these two and these two together. So before we do the actual factorizing, let's write down what we've decided. So 2x y cubed minus 6x squared y minus 3x cubed plus x squared y squared. So for these two, I can take out a 2 and an x and a y. And what I'm left with here is just a y squared minus 3x. Okay, on this side here, I'm going to rearrange my terms. I'm going to switch them around. So I'm just going to write it as plus x squared y squared minus 3x cubed. And you'll see why I do that in a minute. And what I'm going to take out here is an x squared. So I'm going to have plus x squared. And what I've got left with is y squared minus 3 x. And again, you can see that these two brackets are the same. So the reason that I've switched them around, and I've done this in a perfectly mathematical um, way, I've kept the signs the same, and you know that you can just rearrange the order of something when you are adding and subtracting, as long as you keep the signs in front of the terms that you are doing. So here we've got y squared minus 3x, and in this bracket we've got y squared minus 3x, so we have a common bracket. So we're going to write it down, y squared minus 3x um, as the common bracket, and what's left here is 2xy plus x squared. And actually what we can see here is that this bracket has a common factor of x. So I'm going to take it out as well and write it on the outside. This one still stays the same. Nothing has changed here. And on this one, we'll have 2y plus x. And now we have fully factorized. Oh, I forgot a, a bracket there. <laughs> and now we've fully factorized this set of terms. Last one here. Let's do this one quickly. So again, I would just uh, group these two terms together. And then these two with the minuses, I'll group as well together because we can take out a minus 1 as a common factor. So what I'll take out here is a 5. So I'll have 5 and 5 left over plus b. And here I've got, I'll take out an a and I'll have a plus b. Okay, so now this doesn't make sense, does it? So let's try a different arrangement, okay? So I'm going to clear all of this and let's do this. Um, I'm going to group the 25 and the negative a squared 
and the 5b and the negative ab together. So let me just rewrite that. So 25 minus a squared plus 5b minus ab. And the reason I'm doing that is because I've got a minus plus and a minus. Okay, and also I can see that this here is a difference of two squares. So I'm actually going to factorize it as a difference of squares. So we'll have 5 minus a and 5 plus a. Right, and here we'll just take out a b. So I'll be left with 5 minus a. Right, so what we then have is two common brackets, the 5 minus a. So we'll have 5 minus a as the common bracket, and then I'll have 5 plus a as one bracket, plus b inside a big bracket. And we'll just simplify this bracket, so it's quite straightforward. It's just 5 minus a, and when we simplify and we take away the brackets, it's just 5 plus a plus and there we go, we're all done and sorted. So you can see that when we group, we don't necessarily have to just look for a common factor. There can be other ways to factorize our grouping. Join us for our next video where we work through factorizing with the difference of two squares, which we actually did in this video right now. Cheers for now.